Good morning, my name is Stephen and welcome to Morningcraft. Today we're going to build a huge statue in the canal district. So grab a drink, get comfortable and let's begin. So in preparation for this episode, I've done a whole bunch of work on the village. I've done a whole bunch of terraforming around existing builds, and I've added a bunch of interiors to the builds that are already in place. But one of the things I've worked on is this weird sort of podium on the edge of the canal district's walls. And you can see I've spruced up the walls a little bit as well. But this podium is going to hold a huge statue. And you can see me laying down the first few blocks on the end of it right there. So, let's get started. So I built this statue first in a creative world. And it's a huge soldier brings forth the morning. You can see me laying out his boots here, and then working on his legs. I then began to flesh out his legs with a few extra blocks. If you've made it this far into the video, I want to know, if you could build a statue of anyone or anything, what would it be? I then got to work on the statue's torso. I used copper for a sort of waist belt, and then built him a chest plate as I built the rest of his torso. With the new canal district, Mornington had become full of delinquents who mill about causing trouble. And so the king penned a letter to the continent's most renowned adjudicator. Judge Tatterzan, I need you to come and help me govern the town of Mornington. As we grow, our village spirit has been lost, and so we must bring in rules and law to keep the peace. Please travel to Mornington with haste. Very well. I grow tired of this plain city. Mythandros is too peaceful, and I miss my younger days when I would take on challenges. Gertrude, prepare a caravan for travel. You can see our destination on this letter here. And so, Judge Taterzan was on his way to Mornington. Remember to stick around to the end of the video for our daily quote. With the torso nearing completion, I began to work on the head. I started using scaffolding for this build for the first time, and I've got to say, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but once it's in place, it's pretty useful. So I put his head in place, and also built a helmet around it as I went. And then I got to work on his arm. I built the rough outline for his left arm, and put a shoulder pad on him as well. And then I finished off his helmet, and then tried to work on his forearm. Like, subscribe, and share to give your friends a great start to their day. And at this point, the statue was looking amazing. I got to work on his other arm, and tried to make it match as evenly as possible. And you'll see that he has open hands 
and he's going to be holding something, so stick around to see what he's holding. I placed a sword within his hands. I built the hilt of the sword, and then the pommel, and then I finished off the blade. I then placed glowstone in his eyes. If you've made it this far into the video, I want to know what you think of this statue. Let me know in the comments down below. I then placed a glowing window in the centre of his chest. And this has a very, very special purpose, which you'll see very shortly. And as the soldier stands tall above the canal district, his eyes glow as the dawn comes, and you can see the sun through his chest as it rises. He glows in the moonlight as he waits for the sun to rise, and when it's dark, his eyes glow as bright as the sun. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've had a good morning, and if it's not morning where you are, you can save that for tomorrow. And I hope you make today the very best it can be. In the next episode, we're going to build a training academy for soldiers that sits under our new statue. So I hope to see you again next time on Morningcraft. I post a new video every morning at 8am, and now it's time for the daily quote.